Do you hate fall damage? Do you like flying through the air as Demo Man or Soldier, but find gravity is getting in your way a bit too much? Are the snipers on the other team completely incompetent? If you said yes to any of the following, I have the guide for you. How yin's doing, I'm an Ian, and this is my TF2 How to Kill Streak series, where we look at the best and worst TF2 has to offer, and I show you how to get a kill streak with it, because everything is a bad idea until it works. Today, we'll be covering the base jumper. So without further ado, let's get into it. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! The base jumper is a weapon you can equip for both Demo Man and Soldier, taking the primary and secondary weapon slots respectively. This means this item has to compete with the grenade launchers, gunboats, shotguns, and banners for an equip slot. If you wish to acquire this item for yourself, it can be crafted via combining a reclaimed metal, a buff banner, and a sticky jumper in the crafting menu. However, the majority of players simply just trade for it or wait for a random item drop. As for what the base jumper does, it's a parachute that slows your descent, increasing your airtime at the press of the spacebar, making this a very useful tool for players who wish to stay airborne a bit longer or have no desire to take fall damage. Please bear in mind, however, that you can retract the parachute again by hitting the spacebar a second time, and once you do so, you will not be able to redeploy this weapon until you hit the ground. And what TF2 counts as the ground is sometimes finicky. As a rule of thumb, if it can be surfed along, it probably doesn't count, even if you took fall damage from hitting it. You used to be able to deploy and undeploy this weapon freely while mid-air. However, pro players were able to become impossible to hit with projectile weapons when they did this, so they had to nerf it. Because of this nerf, as well as the low move speed you have while parachuting, you become a sitting duck for enemy snipers and other forms of hit scan. A problem only compounded by the flight cancel achievement, where players are rewarded for killing 25 parachuting players via headshot, as well as the nosedive achievement where players are rewarded for killing players using this weapon in general regardless of class. Or weapon, even. Meanwhile, for you completionists out there trying to 100% this game via Steam achievements, you'll be tasked with killing another parachuting player while parachuting yourself, killing three players within a single deployment of your parachute, and traveling 20 miles via the parachute. And you'll have to do all of this twice, since doing these things counts as separate achievements when doing so as Soldier and Demo Man, respectively. Which can be quite the pain in the ass when you realize that only one of these two classes has any effective use for this weapon whatsoever. Speaking of which, let's start with him, shall we? If God had wanted you to live, he would not have created me! Let's just get the obvious one out of the way here. Yes, this thing can be used as a crutch for players going Trolder. After all, mark gardening targets is a lot easier when you can stay airborne for longer. However, you will need to be mindful of the fact that you move very slowly while parachuting, meaning if you don't have the element of surprise, you're probably just going to get shot down by whoever you are trying to garden in the first place. However, Trolger has far better options overall, such as the shotguns or the meme dreads. Still, if you're set on using the base jumper, the Market Gardener is widely considered your best melee option with the Soldier. Now, when it comes to primaries, however, the Airstrike is unquestionably king, with enhanced attack speed while airborne, as well as having less blast damage received when rocket jumping, combined with the fact that the clip actually extends in size after every kill, and you'll quickly realize why any player who uses the base jumper in any serious setting is using it alongside the Airstrike. Just bear in mind that the explosion radius of the airstrike's rockets have a reduced area of effect, meaning splash damage is going to be a lot more unreliable, so you better learn how to land direct hits. And before someone goes on about how the airstrike's increased clip size means you can shoot more rockets and therefore don't need to aim, remember, your clip size only gets extended after you get a kill with it. Therefore, you need to hit someone in the first place before you can start spamming out more rockets at people. Moving back to the base jumper itself, don't think you always need to be in the air with this thing. Yes, you have a parachute. Yes, it can be very fun to shoot people from above, but if you use this thing 100% of the time, you become easy to predict and therefore easy to hit. And you're already too easy to hit with this thing. So don't be afraid to undeploy your parachute and take some fall damage if it means getting out of a sniper's sight line. However, if you're struggling to stay alive and can't get those first few kills with the airstrike, consider using the black box since the health on hit can keep you alive for longer. However, if you actually need the black box to stay alive, you're probably trying to use the base jumper in situations where you shouldn't. 
Remember, the base jumper is a gimmick to use on maps with large skyboxes, not something you have in your core loadout at all times. Speaking of when not to use this weapon, let's move on to how it works with Demo Man. I'm drunk! You don't have an excuse! The Demo Man has very little to gain from being airborne in comparison to the Soldier. This is because none of Demo Man's weapons gain any sort of utility or bonus from being airborne, unlike the Soldier's Market Guardian or an Airstrike. In fact, the Base Jumper becomes completely useless alongside the shields if the player using it is incapable of the art of shrimping. As a result of this, you will pretty much never see the Base Jumper being used in medieval mode with the unique exception of being that one rock you can hide inside of out of bounds without being killed for being out of bounds. A unique and gimmicky exploit that can be useful if you're about to lose the game and don't want to be killed by the person you are dominating all around, but at that point why don't you just leave the server? And if you are wondering why this has been patched out of the game whatsoever, you need to remember two things. One, who actually makes the updates for this game, and two, it's impossible to reach as part of the Out of Bounds map without the Base Jumper. As a result, you will be restricted to melee only, due to the nature of Medieval Mode and not be able to contribute to the team whatsoever. Useful if you want to use one of your taunts to go Rancho Relaxo as Demo Man or Soldier, but otherwise completely useless. Speaking of weapons that don't work alongside the Base Jumper, the Sticky Launcher is a horrible option since you'll be restricted to melee only, and while being able to get 20 feet in the air is fun and amazing, it's not very useful when you can only hit people with melee and you're several feet over their head. Personally, I recommend the Quakey Bomb Launcher since it lets you fire off stickies in the heat of a fight more reliably, making it Demo Man's best choice of secondary when you don't have a grenade launcher and don't intend to be playing Demo Knight. However, the Scottish Resistance can be used if you wish to sit in the sky while turning the map into a minefield. However, given the maps best suited for the Scottish Resistance's abilities tend to have low skyboxes, your mileage with this combo will be very limited. If you can't decide between the two, I recommend just going with the stock Sticky Bomb Launcher since it's pretty much never a wrong answer. However, since Sticky Bombs don't benefit from you being airborne, but snipers do, I advise against using the base jumper on Demo Man unless you're achievement hunting. All in all, I give the base jumper a fun gimmick out of 10. When hitscan players aren't forcing you to drop from the air and into a casket, this weapon can be quite fun. However, I honestly can't recommend it for any serious play. The meme lovers amongst you will love this, but the tryhard should stay far away. That will be all for now. Like the video if you did, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one, comment what yins want to see me cover in the future, and consider joining my fan club where for a dollar a month you can get access to my videos early as well as see previews of my future videos. I've been an Ian, you have been you, and this has been my TF2 How to Kill Streak Guide to the Base Jumper. And stay tuned, the Jurati is coming up next.